Hi guys, welcome again to our Micro C Pro for Peak Tutorials for Absolute Beginner Series. This is tutorial 40, part 1 of our 8th project. In this project, we're going to design a digital clock with DA1307 real-time clock. Digital clocks are used in many electronic devices. You can find a digital clock in dishwashers, in microwave oven, in alarm clocks, Basically, in anything, you can put a digital clock whenever you need some precise timing. You can use the peak timer to design your digital clock, but this can be a bit complicated, especially when you have to adjust the month with 30 and 31 days, when you have to consider the leap year after every four years, and so on. And the other problem is when you lose the power supply, you're going to lose all your data, then you'll have to readjust your clock. So the best way is always to use an external dedicated chip with all these built-in functions. As this device consumes relatively low power, a lithium battery with 48 mA or greater will back up the DS1307 for more than 10 years in the absence of power at plus 35 degrees Celsius. If you're not going to use an external backup battery, then you can ground this pin. We're going to continue from the previous tutorial the only thing that we're going to need to add on this circuit diagram is three push buttons to set our time and date. We're going to connect our push buttons to RA0, RA1 and RA2. Search for push button. Let's put three push buttons. The first one is going to be set. The second one is going to be up. If you want to move the digit up. And the last one is going to be down. Gonna need some pull up resistors to connect our push buttons. All this pull up resistor should be ten K. Connect them to the supply voltage. Then to plus five volt. And to ground. The first push button, we're going to connect it to RA0. Going to name it set. Going to do the same. Set. The second one, up, we're going to connect it to RA1. And the last one, down. We're going to connect it to RA2. We're not going to use an external MCLR reset circuit. 
and we're gonna use the built-in oscillator so we're not gonna need an external crystal oscillator and basically guys that's all for this circuit our LCD is connected to port B our DS1307 is connected to I squared C bus as we have learned from the previous tutorial whenever we press the set button we're gonna go into the configuration mode if you press the set button once it's gonna shift the cursor to hour then you can change the value of the hour by pressing the up or down button when you press the set button again it's gonna shift the cursor to minute to allow you to modify the minute when you press the set button again for the third time it's gonna move the cursor to second this is basically whenever you press it's gonna reset the second to zero there's no need to set the second and whenever you press the set button again it's gonna move the cursor down to date you're gonna start with the day you can modify the day then when you press it again you're gonna move the cursor again it's gonna give you the opportunity to change the month and lastly when you set the cursor again it's gonna move you to the year then you can modify the year and when you press it again then it's gonna go into the operation mode and that's all guys for this tutorial in part two, we're gonna continue with our code. We can see how we can write to the DS1307 date and time registers. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive more tutorials in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.